Hey everyone, here's a question on ratios. The question is, find the ratio of the following. The first one is, speed of a cycle 15 km per hour to the speed of scooter 30 km per hour. And the second question is 5 meter to 10 km and third one is 50 paise to 5 rupees. So in the first one, they're talking about the speed of cycle and a scooter. And they have given a speed like 15 of cycle is 15 km per hour and of scooter it is 30 km per hour. Now let's find out the ratio here. So when now you find out the ratio, the unit should be same. So you can see that in the first question, the units are same. It is 15 km per hour and the second one, the scooter, it is 30 km per hour. So we don't have to do any changes here. And it is speed of cycle. So cycle is first to the speed of scooter. So whatever the number we write down, it should be first cycle and then scooter, right? So the ratio will be, I am not writing down the statements here. If you want, you can write down the statement that ratio of speed of cycle to the speed of scooter will be equal to. So I am not writing down the statements here. I am just directly finding out the answer. So ratio will be equal to. So ratio will be equal to first is speed of cycle, right? So if you want, you can write down like speed of cycle, speed of cycle by speed of scooter. speed of scooter. Now what is speed of cycle? Speed of cycle is 15 km per hour. So I am just going to write down the 15 here. And then for scooter it is 30 km per hour. So 15 divided by 30. Now one more thing when you write down the ratio is whenever you write down the ratio, they should be in a reduced form or the so smallest form. So if you can able to cancel these numbers, cancel them. So you can say 15 by 30, it's not in simplest form. So cancel them. We can cancel directly in, in 15 table, 15 ones are and 15 twos are 30. So we got this as 1 by 2 and this is a fraction. And you know that fraction can be written in a ratio form. So this will be equal to 1 is to 2. That's it. Then the second question. In second one, it is 15 meter to 10 kilometer. Like I said before, whenever you write down the ratio, the unit should be same. And here it is not same. We're going to make it same here. So you can either convert everything into kilometer or convert everything into meter. Here I'm going to convert everything into meter. So it, it depends upon you. If suppose you're converting everything into meter, your answer will be different. If you're converting everything into kilometer, then your answer will be different. It's completely on you what you want to convert, right? Then the, so here I'm going to convert kilometer into meter. So we know that one kilometer is equal to 1000 meters, right? So if 1 kilometer is 1000 meter, then 10 kilometer will be equal to 10 multiplied by 1000. 10 multiplied by 1000 meter, which will be equal to 10,000 meters. Right? Now this will be equal to, now I'm going to find out the ratio. So ratio will be equal to so first it is 5 meter, so ratio will be equal to 5 meter or I am going to just write down the 5 upon, now this is uh, 10 kilometer, we know 10 kilometer is equal to 10,000 meter, so it, this will be 10,000. Now cancel them, you can cancel this in 5 table, 5 ones are 5 and 5 twos are 10, we have a 10 here right, so 5 twos are 10 followed by 3 zeros which will be 2000. So this is 1 by 2000 or when you write down this in a ratio, this will be 1 is to 2000. So this was second question. Now same way we have a third one. I'm going to erase the first question here. So in the first one, in the third one, they are saying 50 paise to 5 rupees. So we're going to convert rupees into paise. Again, if you convert paise into rupee, your answer will be a bit different. And if you're converting everything into paise, your answer will be different. I'm going to convert rupees into paise. And we know that 1 rupee is equal to 100 paise, right? If 1 rupee is equal to 100 paise, then 5 rupees will be equal to 5 into 100 paise, which will be equal to 500 paise, 500 paise. Now you're going to find out the ratio. So ratio is equal to, so first we have a 50 paise, so 50 by uh, 5 rupees. So we know that 5 rupees is equal to 500 paise, so 50 by 500. Now cancel them, you can cancel this in 50 table, 50 ones are and 50 tens are. 
So we got 1 by 10 and when you convert this 1 by 10, it is a fraction, you can convert fraction into a ratio. This will be 1 is to 10, that is it. So this was simple question. I hope it is clear how to find out the ratio. In case you have any other question or doubt, you can drop a comment. I will try to make a video on it. Thank you so much for watching.